Greetings fellow gators. I would like to welcome you to the fourth and last part of the Project Ori Mothership. In the previous parts we made a top and a bottom, so in this last part we will do the rest. So we will do the back, the engine and this front piece. Now uh, I would like to mention one thing. Uh, as you can see here, the part has the holes for the pins. Um, my advice would be not to use those pins because uh, this part uh, sticks very well on its own and uh, those, those pins would only go in the way uh, and make the insertion that much harder. Anyway. When it comes to the back, it's simply those two pieces plus the connector pieces that then clap the thing together to the yeah to the part here. So it's just a safety insurance to that those those uh, back pieces won't fall down. Okay. So yeah, as you can see, nothing special about the back, so I will get rid of it and just focus on the engines. So the engines consist of this big piece that uh, unfortunately has to be printed out with the support because as you can see, this will not be able to be printed without them. Yeah, I had it oriented like that. Then uh, we have this separate piece, this pointy piece and finally this small piece and of course connector pins. So I will simply show this is the main piece and here it has holes so corresponding pins. this piece and as you can see it has a hole here for the 10 millimeter pin and here we have a hole for a 5 millimeter pin. Then we will insert this piece and finally uh, we have this peg here and there we will put this detail piece and that's it. So yeah, then we put the back inside and simply push this everything, the entire part to the existing ship and then use those connectors to basically lock it in place. And that will create our entire Ori mothership. So let's get straight into it. All right, so as you can see, I already inserted this part. I'm sorry, I uh, thought that I'm recording it, but I was not. Anyway, it is simply put inside and pushed inward. Uh, I would like to point out that uh, here uh, I had two 10 by 10 pins. I would recommend to uh, remove them and simply uh, push it inside because it's uh, it held uh, on pl in place very nicely and the the pins would only make it uh, more difficult anyway and here we have a part for the back so we will start uh, by assembling the engines so i will take this part i already inserted two pins and here are corresponding holes so yeah, it's together. Now we have this part. Okay, it's in place. And now this part. Okay, like this. Alright. 
so the engines are done now we will add the side pieces one and two okay and now we have to attach everything to the existing model okay it's in place and the last thing we have these connector pins or well, not not pins but and we will insert them here into the corresponding holes okay and the Orai ship is finished obviously i will uh, do some painting to uh, once again uh, so that it is better but yeah, model wise it's done all right so i uh, added some additional paint i see that it's still not perfect yeah that's the common problem with the white color but i think it's okay and uh, i think yeah i will leave it like that anyway i don't know if it's visible i guess not uh, yeah there's the symbol of the ori with a little blue there i don't know if it's visible on camera sorry okay here are the landing legs Re retracted and as you can see it stands quite well on its own Yeah, unfortunately, uh, a lot of uh, lines from different pieces are visible. Um, yeah, I think I will leave it like that. Okay, so this is the Ori mother mothership. Uh, this was a little bit uh, longer than the usual pro uh, projects because of the aforementioned problems that I had, but it's done now. So I hope that you like it, liked it, and yeah, I guess that we will see each other um, during the next project, which will be the Teltak. Okay, then I wish you a very nice day, even nicer weekend, and have a nice day. Bye bye.